In one year since the alleged gang rape of a 17 year old girl by several San Diego State football players at an off campus party. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carla Chiquetta. I'm Marcella Lee. The young woman who is now age 18 has filed a lawsuit against the players, but no one has been arrested or charged with any crime. As CBS 8's David Godfordson reports, the woman's civil attorney says the case has been returned to the San Diego Police Department for more investigation. I think that a criminal case is coming. My understanding is the DA has asked the police department to go back and do more work on the case. Attorney Dan Gillian represents the young woman who has accused three former Aztec football players of rape at this off-campus house exactly one year ago. San Diego police handed the case off to the district attorney's office for possible criminal charges more than two months ago. Now Gillian says it's been sent back to SDPD for further investigation. That's an indication that they're not going to go the grand jury route. Instead, they're going to just have the police kind of do their job, which I don't think the police did fully. I think the police handed it off real quick to the DA because they were facing media attention. I was in and out of consciousness. CBS 8 was the first news outlet to interview the young woman in July. She filed a lawsuit 10 months after reporting the alleged rape to police, naming the three football players, Matt Ariza, Xavier Leonard, and Pa'a Iwaliko. I really just want my criminal case to pull through, and I would like to see charges filed. The woman now has a full-time job, and she's looking forward to college as the prospect of a criminal trial looms. I really don't think I'll fully heal from it until I get the closure of everything being done with and of everybody being held properly accountable. Um, but it definitely is something that I'm gonna be dealing with forever. I don't think I'll ever fully get over it. This was the scene on the street on October 16th, 2021. A neighbor took this video right after police broke up an off-campus party, several doors down from the house where the alleged rape took place in a bedroom. City records show officers were called to the house in the 5,000 block of Rockford Drive three times in 2021 for complaints of loud parties, howling, and screaming. No citations were issued in those earlier incidents, but Gillian believes in this case, criminal charges will be filed eventually. She walked out of that room and told her friends she was raped. She went to the police. She did a, a SART exam. They did pretext calls where the guys admitted it. I mean, I don't know uh, what they're waiting for. Now, the attorney representing Matt Ariza, Carrie Armstrong, told me today that he has seen several private investigator reports and he does not believe his client committed any. He also told me he is optimistic that no criminal charges will be filed against Ariza. David, aside from waiting for the district attorney to make a decision on any possible criminal charges, what happens next in this case? Well, on the civil side, Dan Gillian told me today that he is preparing two subpoenas to serve one against uh, the San Diego Police Department here behind me and one against San Diego State. He wants to know more about the DNA testing results that were done uh, in this case, and he also wants to know more about the university's internal investigation. Still much more for us to learn in this case. David Gobertson reporting live. Thanks, David.